All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be making uh, hot chocolate mugs with some designs on them. So let's get going. All right, I do wanna show you guys a couple examples I found online. Um, I got quite a few for you guys, so here they are. So over here on this printout that I laminated because I wanna use for future reference, um, there are a bunch of examples from a variety of kids that have made this. So um, it could be latte, it could be coffee. Um, I prefer hot chocolate because I think I want to add some marshmallows in them and stuff like that. Of course, they're steaming hot as noticed as by these wavy lines coming away from the, uh, away from the mug. So it looks like they did three wavy lines uh, to symbolize one steam. And they did uh, two pieces of steam coming from each of them. And I think they did a pretty fairly good job, and it looks like they did a variety of other materials. So if you want to use paint, you can use paint. Uh, if you want to use watercolor, if you want to use crayons, markers, anything you want, um, now's the time to use those materials. So anyways, uh, let's get uh, started by using the basic materials of how to draw it, and then we'll go from there. Uh, so I think I'm going to use markers for this one, but haven't decided quite yet. But um, let's draw the mug. So here we go. I'm going to put this aside. All right, step number one. What you want to do is create the mug itself. So again, you kind of want to judge what kind of shape you want. If you want it to be nice and like straight and like that, you can. If you want it more like rounded, you can do that. Uh, so for mine, I think I want to do a little bit more of a straighter type of a mug cup. So I'm going to go from here and go down, here and go down. And I think I want to do some thicker lines to um, try to mimic what they did. I'm going to use a thicker sharpie here, and I'm going to retrace back what I just drew. So it's going to be nice and thick, just like so. But again, you guys can do pencil. Pencil's fine. All right, next up is the uh, lids, or sorry, the little handle. So I'm going to go making a little sideways U this way. Make sure it's nice and thick. And another sideways U uh, this direction, just like so, just like that. All right, nice and lopsided because I kind of want to make it look more cartoony and artsy just like how they did. All right, so let's try to figure out how they did the bottom part of the mug. Um, you can do a little bit of a slight curve going downwards like this to make it more three-dimensional. Um, I want mine to be a little more abstract, so I'm just going to do a nice straight line. I'm going to kind of do a diagonal, so I'm going to have to probably make my other line a little bit longer, but not by much. There we go. And then the top part, um, you can do a variety of things. Um, you can kind of make just a plain oval, you can make two ovals, kind of make it more three-dimensional. Um, let's see if I can show it to you guys a little bit higher. It's uh, this one right here. If you want to pause the video and try to figure out how they did that, you can. Um, I'm going to do something way more easier than that. I'm just going to do a basic, very thin oval, just like so. So one line this way, and another line coming back, just like that. There you go, and I think I might go back and forth, maybe one more time on the top. Just to emphasize that nice thick line. All right, next step I'm gonna do is create the saucer where the cup is sitting on. And this one is gonna be more of a, a larger oval, so we'll go from there. So I wanna do maybe one here. I'm going to twist my marker the other direction so I can get all those other parts of the line thick. Go from here, maybe go down, there you go. That's a lot better. And then I'm gonna do another ring Going from here, and going out a little bit wider, just like so. Uh, turning my marker around, just so I can get those thin parts thicker as well. There we are. Nice in the way I want it. So, so far, so simple, right? A little off-center from the page, but it's my sketchbook. I do what I want to do. All right, now let's put it on something. So let's put it on a table or a desk or a chair or a stool. And in order to do that, all you gotta do is draw a straight line in the back, going from left to right. And basically all you're gonna do is try to go behind the mug to the best of your ability. So that's what I just did. And to make it look more realistic, I'm gonna make this line a tad bit thicker, just like so. That way I get some more of a divide from the background and where it's sitting on and I think uh, that's it so now what you can do is try to decorate the mug any way you want I've seen kids do like flowers and the whole thing 
I've seen people do wavy lines and stuff like that. You do anything you want to make it more unique and yours. So before I finish off and start doing my designs on them, I'm going to add the steam before I forget. And there's a couple ways here you can do it. Um, I'm going to probably do the most basic way, but here's another interesting one that they did. Uh, this one down here. I'm not sure you guys can see that. Hey, look how interesting that one is. That one's not in white. And they kind of made it like really nice and faint. That way it's... Uh, more realistic, I guess, but um, that's not what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go more abstract again. So I'm going to make my steam nice and visible. So I'm going to go curving like this. So here's one. And I'm going to make it parallel to the next one and the next one. So here's the first steam. And I'm going to go another one right about right here. Okay, I'm going to make one like that. Make sure the lines are parallel to each other as best as possible. And there we go. So now I can start doing my patterning. All right, with that said, let me get started. Use any markers you want. Um, so here I go. I'm just gonna pull out a couple. There we go. That's a couple. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. All right. I like to start off with the brightest colors. That way um, I'm not ruining them. So for instance, yellow. Look how clean my yellow is. So I like to do my brightest colors first to keep my markers nice and clean. All right, so let's do, what part should I do yellow? I think I wanna do the inside of the mug yellow, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll do polka dots. Let me do polka dots on the outside, so here we go. Nice and very large polka dots. There we go. One large dot, another large dot. I might fast forward depending on how long the video is, but if I don't, you guys can probably still hear me by now. Another yellow. Nice large yellow dot. Um, for this next one, I'm going to avoid the steam at all costs. There you go. And I'm going to make sure I use the edge of my marker to get the most use out of it instead of just using just the tip of the marker. Uh, that way it stays nice and sharp as well. If you want to rotate the marker, you can too. That way it's not curving in one direction all the time. All right, I'm doing nice big polka dots. I'm liking it a lot so far. All right, there we go. Let me just fill that in. Maybe make one polka dot going off from the table here. If you want to rotate your page, you can to get a better angle at some of the colors that you want to access. Um, and yeah, I'm about to finish all these polka dots here. So make sure I place them in very good and smart locations here. There we go. All right. This half of my picture is almost done. Not quite, because I don't want to leave the background completely white. I do want to add another color. Just so it's not so white in the back. It doesn't look like a, an egg. Because it does look like an egg, like an egg right now. So I'm just, there's going to be a little bit of parts of I miss, but it's okay. I do have blinding light in my eyes, so I can't see that well when I'm video recording. All right, so for the background, uh, let me choose another color. I think I might choose um, orange. Two types of marker oranges here. All right, here I go. Um, I think I'm going to go uh, vertical, so I'm just going to, first, you know what, first of all, let me outline my circle first. I stay as nice and clean with my lines as possible. There we go. Alright, this is looking way better than I expected, which I'm really happy about. I might as well do where it meets the floor too. Do I want to use my marker for the whole entire thing? Um, right, I'm going to do something I'm not supposed to do. But there we go. Alright, um, I think I'm going to decide to um, 
do the rest of the background in uh, crayon because I don't want to waste too much marker and I don't want my paper to start curling. Um, so I'm just going to do the rest in crayon. And it actually might make it look a lot better, um, but that's my preference. So I could have done the whole entire background in marker, but um, I don't think that, was a, that would be a smart choice in my picture because I don't want my sketchbook to have a curly page. There we go. Although markers are fine, I want to make sure I'm saving my markers so they last a tad bit longer. Right, there we go. And that background's almost done. Um, I haven't decided if I want to do anything with my steam. Um, I might just leave it white. But um, not to say that I'm not going to color it or change my mind halfway through. Alright. There we go. Alright, as I'm coloring this, I did um, make a decision for my cup design. Um, I think I might do a combination of a few things that I see. Um, so, the thing I see most is like there's two stripes. There's one stripe right here that divides the bottom part, and then there's another stripe up here. And then um, there's kind of just, like stripes on the end of the cup, like this, which I thought was really cool. Uh, but then on another cup, I saw it using kind of like checker patterns. I'm just gonna go from one end, go diagonal, and then just keep going diagonal, going up, then going diagonal, going down, and then go the opposite direction. So here I go. This way, and then go down first, and then go up. All right. Cool. All right, I think I saw a really cool pattern that I wanted to copy, um, and it's being, uh, it's you, they use this first with the outline, the outside edge of the saucer, or wherever this uh, mug is sitting, just like so. As careful as I can when I do this. There we are. And then they kind of added just like these loop-de-loops. Um, they kind of do like fish scales, but I'm going to loop-de-loop it, so I'm going to go back and around, back and around, just like so. I'm going to kind of create a, a cool and interesting pattern, a pattern that's very hard to teach. There we go. It's looking really nice. There we are. It's curving. There we are. And then they left this part white, which I do agree with. All right, um, next step, um, I think I want to create some just regular stripes on the bottom half of the paper. So maybe I'll take a uh, blue, and then maybe I'll just go across where the table meets the wall, and then I'm just going to make these stripes nice and thick. So I'm going to go back probably twice. There you go ones nice and thick and then I think I'm going to space them out probably about like an inch so there we go and another thick blue line goes across and I think it ends up right there and another inch down right there all right I think I'm doing a pretty decent job at what I'm trying to accomplish here another thick blue line there we are. There's one last thick blue line. There we go. Should have went slower on that one. So I'll go slower to this one. All right. This looks really good so far. I think I want to outline the blue with maybe a different set of purples. So I'm just going to outline it once, just like so. It's going to give this really neat effect here. Really neat. There you go. All right. There we are. And you can see it is a different purple than the one on the saucer. I did get on my table, but it's fine. Alright, it's looking really good so far. I'm liking it a lot. Um, 
Let's see, for the inside, I don't want to use any browns at all to symbolize liquid, but I do want to do something creative. So why don't I add, um, let's see, um, let me add tiny lime green squares, just like so. I'm going to be kind of rounded on the edges like this. And hopefully, um, it'll make some cool effects here. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I don't see this pattern anywhere, but I thought it'd be pretty neat to do. So I'm doing this nice green pattern right here. Just like this. And then I think I'm going to do a uh, medium green everywhere else. So let me just outline everything like so. And um, we'll see if this works. Or I just might end up doing what I did in the background, is making it. Um, uh, hang on. I haven't decided yet. But I have to decide soon because it is finished. <laughs> Okay, um, I think I'm gonna do crayon. So why don't I go back and probably do this mint green that I have that I really like using a lot all the time. I'm gonna color the excess parts of the inside of this cup green. This mint green color. Kind of reminds me of those um, things from McDonald's during March. I forgot what they're called, forgive me. Um, not McFlurry, um, Shamrock Shake, that's what it is. Shamrock Shakes. I used to like them when I was um, in college, but not so much anymore. They're very, very sugary. <laughs> okay, um, let's color the floor a little bit. The floor looks uh, kind of colliding a lot with the rest of the stuff. Uh, before I do that, I kind of want to use this turquoise um, with this portions of my inner cup right here because I thought it'd be really cool and neat looking. So let me just do this first before I forget. Wow, I'm liking that choice that I just made just now. This looks like an amazing color. For the checkers I chose to go with. Alright. Um, let's do some more over here. This one has to be that color. Right. Right, as I continue on, I can almost finish off with the cup. Cup's almost done. Alright. My hands are getting tired. I don't know about you guys. Alright, there we go. Alright, for the floor. What can I do for the floor? Let's see, did this work good? Once I put it down, I have I can no turning back. Alright, um thankfully I do like it, so we'll go with this. Alright, so as I finish this up, um I haven't decided if I want to speed up the video, so if I speed it up, I'll see you guys at the end. I think it was a good choice, so I'm glad I chose this color. Now let me just rotate my crayon so it's not um, creating a flat side of the crayon. Let me rotate my crayon again. And as you rotate your crayons as you're coloring, you're kind of doing yourself a favor by making a nice sharp point at the end so you can use it for other things. All right, we're almost done coloring here. Only got a few more stripes left. And I think as of that right now, I decided that um, I'm gonna leave my cup uh, turquoise and white, and I'm gonna leave the placement or saucer um, that um, purple and uh, white as well. That way it sticks out a lot more. As for the steam, um, I thought about doing it the same color as the background, so it just looks like black wavy lines, but I think I'm gonna keep that white as well. Alright, so I'm officially done. I think it looks really good. So anyways, that is the video 
and I'm basically done anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.